All right, in this video, we are going to look at <coughs> adding and subtracting polynomials. In the last uh, video, we looked at uh, what polynomials are and monomials and binomials and collecting like terms and that kind of thing. In this term, in this uh, video, we're going to be looking at uh, adding and subtracting them. Um, so when you're adding and uh, subtracting polynomials, you can only add or subtract the things that are alike. So uh, if there's an x term and a y term, you can't add those together because they're not the same. So they must be like. When you're adding, you only add the numbers out front. You don't add the exponents. And that's a mistake that a lot of people make. They like this one here, 3x squared plus or minus 2x squared. They might make that 1x but then they'll write a 4 up there, that's incorrect. All you do is you look at the front numbers and add or subtract those and leave the variables alone if they're alike. Okay, so for example, this one. If I'm adding, the first thing I'd probably do is just to drop brackets. Because if I'm adding and there's nothing up front, out front here, and in this one there's just an add, I would uh, just drop the brackets. Notice that I'm leaving all of the uh, terms exactly the same, same sign and everything. The other thing you, I might do, and maybe you do this in your head, but I'd look and identify the like terms. So here's, there's some x squareds there, here's an x, there's an x, and here's a number, and there's a number. So I might, I might collect those and just write them together. So 3x squared plus a negative 2x squared uh, plus 2x, plus 5x, minus 2, plus 5. If it helps you to write them so they're in order, that's okay. Just be careful with the signs in front of the term that you're moving. Last thing would be to collect them. So 3x minus 2x would be 1x squared. 2x plus 5, that would be plus 7x. And negative 2 plus 5 would be a positive 3. Okay, so that would be adding two polynomials, two trinomials. Here's some questions maybe to try. Go ahead and press pause, try these ones, then press play and see if you're good. Okay, I assume you press play again. In this one, since it's adding, I'm just going to drop the brackets, plus x cubed, or maybe, well, I'll just write it in the order, just dropping the brackets. Okay, uh, x5, there's no other x5, so I'll leave that one alone x cubed, oh there's an x to the fourth one, I should maybe put that one, but there's another, none other to go with it, so I'll just write that one. x cubed, oh there's only one of those, an x squared, there's only one of, and a number there's only one of. So actually I, I, I didn't add or subtract anything, I just rewrote the polynomial, and this one is in descending order, where you have the highest degree first and then the next highest, etc. That's too bad, I didn't think it add anything. This one I'm going to try and just do in my head. Rather than dropping the brackets, I'm going to drop them in my head and try it. So here's an x to the fourth. That looks like the highest degree. 31 take away 7 would be 24x to the fourth. Any x cubed? Yeah, there's one, just one. So plus 5x cubed. Okay, 5x cubed done. x squared. Oh, there's just one of those two. Plus x squared. I gotta, I gotta cancel these. So I did these, I did that. The x squared I did, okay, x, oh, two x minus two x, they cancel. So it's zero x, I wouldn't need to write those. Minus one plus two would be a positive one. There we go, that's the sum of those ones. Okay, so that's adding, that's not too bad. Now, let's just do a quick little thing before we subtract. When we subtract polynomials, um, what we typically do is find the opposite of the second one. So rather than subtracting, we add the opposite. That's sort of what we do. And so to do the opposite, really all you're doing when you find the opposite, like here, if I have a subtract or a negative sign in front of a bracket, it means everything inside there is negative or change what it does. So inside here, I have a positive 3x cubed. If I find the opposite, that will change to a minus 3x cubed. The positive 6x will change to a, or the negative 6x will change to a positive 6x, and the positive 3 will change to a negative 3. 
So that's what it means by opposite. It's just whatever's in the brackets, you change its sign. Try these ones, then press play. So this will be 7x to the 4th minus 5x cubed plus 2x minus 2. This one will be 2x to the 5th plus 3x cubed minus 5x plus 3. Uh, you want to be careful and make sure that you change every sign that is in the brackets. Some people forget to do the first one. So now knowing what an opposite is, when I subtract polynomials, what I do is I add the opposite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to an add, and I'm going to find the opposite of each thing inside. This uh, process has been so difficult for some students to sort of capture that one of my former students, uh, Steve Penny, um, he named any negative sign in front of a bracket uh, this, a dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking negative. And it, it's funny, it caught on with me, and I have used, used it ever since. But it's something to be aware of. If there's a minus in front of a bracket, if I'm subtracting a polynomial, I need to add the opposite. So I'm going to drop the brackets on the first one, change this minus to a plus, and then this one inside here is positive already, so it'll become a negative 5x cubed. This is a negative 4, so I change it to a positive 4. Now I can collect like terms. 7x cubed minus 5x cubed be 2x cubed. There's no x squared terms. There's an x term, no. And then there's a 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay, try some. Okay, hopefully you press play. First thing I would do, I've tried to do this in my head <clears throat> where I, I uh, don't even write anything down, I just write the answer down. And having to do that add the opposite thing, the dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking negative, always catches me. So I always find it easier just to change it. So this minus changes to a positive. The negative 4x changes to a positive 4x squared. This changes to a negative 11x. This changes to a positive 2. Now collect like terms. Down 3, gain 4, so I'd be up 1x squared. Up 5, lose 11, so I'd be down 6x's. Down 4, up 2, so I'd still be down 2. So that would be the sum of that one. Okay, I'll try this one without, without uh, doing it, without writing the next up. I'm down 6, and then I'm down another 2, so I'd be down 8x to the 4th cubes. I don't have a cube there, so I have a cubed here. But there's a minus in front of that, so this would be a minus 5x cubed. Oh, this is hurting my head. x squared and an x squared. So I'm up 3, minus a negative, so I'd be plus. So it'd be plus 8x squared. And lastly, 6 take away 7 would be a negative 1. I think that that's, that's correct. I didn't write that middle term, and that sort of bothers me, but I I think I got that one right. One last one. One with fractions. You have to like that. I'm going to re rewrite it. That other one hurt too much. 3x cubed minus 1 half x squared plus 0.3 minus a half x cubed minus a half x squared minus 4 thirds x minus 1.2. Notice that minus went to every one of the things in there. 3 halves minus 1 half would be 2 halves. x cubed. Well, and simplify that. x squared down a half, down another half, so I'd be down 2 halves. x squared. Uh, this is my only x term, so minus 4 thirds x. I'm up 0.3 and I lose 1.2, so that'd be probably down 0.9. I think we need to subtract that. Last thing I do, two halves is the same as one x cubed. Uh, oh, two halves again is the same as one x squared minus four thirds x minus 0 0.9. Okay, hopefully you got that. So that gives you a uh, rundown on adding polynomials. And the big thing with this one is when there's a negative out front of a bracket, that everything inside that bracket, you must change its sign. Try some questions.